what's going on people fame entertainment here and according to multiple sources the x1 is the uh most selling console in the united states and in the united kingdom for the month of november now this is great news coming out of the uh, microsoft calendar this is the first time since uh i want to say maybe december of 2013 that they actually outsold the playstation 4 um in the united states and in the united kingdom so this is a great job and you know what this really attributes to is the uh hard work and dedication out of the microsoft camp to really try to win back gamers uh, if you look at everything they've done as far as the the bundles they put out the price drop and even the the even bigger price drop on uh black friday of 329 you know with two free games or the assassin's creed bundle things like that i mean they've really really put in a lot of hard work to try to win back you know the gamers from the situation they put themselves in when they first launched the console now with this being said of them actually you know winning a month you know as far as sales goes i think this this really should prove to everyone at microsoft that at this point you have to stay at the 349 price point and when you have sales your sale could, should go down to the 329 price point because it, it really shows that people in the united states and the people in the united kingdom like cheap they 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 rather you know they they rather pay you know 349 than pay 399 you know, it's 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 a there's a lot of you know parents. I said in prior videos, parents things like that, they go for their cheaper console. Now, the Microsoft is set to uh, raise the price back to 399. I want to believe, I want to say January 2nd, right after uh, the holiday and the, the new year. But I'm thinking with them winning November, and from what it looks like, is they should take. December also because of the cheaper price point and Christmas been right around the corner that should let them know that should you know should be enough evidence to keep the price point lower than the PlayStation 4 because PlayStation has no reason to lower their price at this point they're leading the sales they're, they're still selling a, don't get me wrong even though Xbox One November PlayStation still, still sold a lot of consoles so they have absolutely no reason to lower their console and also, I know I know some people, and I've actually thought this too, I don't think financially they can afford to drop the price of that console, but the main reason is they don't have a reason to. They're still winning the sales battle uh, at the 399 price point. So for Xbox to stay competitive, they must, you know, stay cheaper and stay bringing out and stay giving out the, uh, the deals, the bundles. Uh, in 2015, I expect to see a lot of X1 bundles again. It's like this year, uh, mainly toward the end of the year. You know, if the um, if a Gears of War for collection drops toward the end of next year, we'll definitely see a bundle for that. Um, as we know, they normally do a bundle for every Halo that drops. Uh, we can see a Halo themed X1. Uh, we all know how the uh, white uh, Sunset Overdrive bundle went. That thing sold out as quick as they restocked them so I, I definitely think we can see either a white you know gears or a white halo or a halo themed console at 349 which would be awesome and then around black friday again next year 329 again and do what they did this year and just really you know stick it to the competition by being able to offer a cheaper price point but what Microsoft has to do, and I think they're smart guys over there now. I know Phil, with all of them, like, let those guys know, hey, 349 is our sticking point. At this point, if you really want to sell and push more consoles, you cannot go back to a uh, 399 price point to be even with the PlayStation. Because at this point, this is what the X1 is. It has to be the cheaper of the two consoles. But that's all for today, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for listening to me, subscribing, sharing, and liking. We are on the road to 400 subs. I want to thank you guys so much. This is Fame Entertainment. And as always, this is for all my enemies. Behind me, hustle, souped up, clock in. I am a tank.
the fuck with you lame? My side bitch your main. Blame it on fame. This is no flex, don't got 